Fan Medicine and welcome back to my channel. Today I have what I think is my final book haul of 2022. This is my current book haul. I just came back from being on vacation. I had like 20 packages. I know what some of these are. I don't know what some of them are. We'll see. Thank you for everyone and anyone who did send me something. Um, none of these are ones that I have bought. I already, whenever I buy stuff for myself, I never wait to open it. I'm too impatient because I know what's in it. <laughs> but this is all stuff that I was sent. Um, so I'm very excited to get into it. But before I get into all my packages, I want to talk about something that I was recently sent that I already opened and I want to show because they're so pretty. Um, that is the Love Light series by BK Borison. First off, can you guys just appreciate what the spines look like? And so we've got book one, which is Love Light Farms. This I'm actually going to be reading for Christmas this year. It is a Christmas romance and I'm so excited for it. Um, and then the other two books in this series, which are Mixed Signals and Into the Weeds, which both like have very great like autumnal summer vibes, well fall vibes, autumnal fall spring vibes, you know what I'm saying? They're like some of my most anticipated books to read for this season, so I really just wanted to mention them to you while I was here. Where is my Stanley knife gone? Here she is. So first things first, we've got this package here, which I kind of know what it is. Do I even need a Stanley knife for this? Nah, I got it. So this package is from Avery Maxwell. Ooh. So this is without a hitch. This, I'm guessing it is some sort of a marriage of convenience, which I mean is one of my favorites. Oh my God, that's so cute. It's even personalized to me. Did not expect that. Oh, okay. This sounds so, this is so up my alley. This is not even funny. So this follows a girl who is a professional bridesmaid and she falls for one of the groomsmen at one of the weddings. And it's supposed to be a one night stand, but it ends up turning into like a three week, like, offer oh i'm so excited this is so fun so this one's like really good oh i'm so pumped thank you avery here we have a package from macmillan i cannot show you exactly what it looks like but da, 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 da. Ooh, oh yay oh wow it's hardcover oh it's so cute it even came with a little fake rose so oh my god and that's so cute it's like a little sticker thingy so this is Sophie Gonzalez's Never Getting Back Together. This is like one of the only YA like books I was really, really excited for this year um, because I don't really read too much YA anymore. This is a sapphic romance. It's about this girl who ends up on like a bachelor's like kind of dating show with her ex. Like her ex is the bachelor and she ends up full and it's like all of the exes getting a second chance with the bachelor and she ends up falling for one of his exes. And so it's like his two ex-girlfriends falling in love with each other. So excited for it. Then we have another package here. This one is from Simon and Schuster. Ba -ba -na. Seems like there's like a lot of stuff in here. And I'm like, oh, whoa. I did not expect to be getting this. Shit, it's massive. So this here is, ow, a finished copy of Blood Marked by Tracy Dion. This just came out. I absolutely, wow, it looks so good. I adored um, Legend Born when it came out. I read it last year. It was one of my favorite fantasy books of 2021. So I'm very excited to read this. Um, I don't know when I will get to it yet. I love it. It's just I haven't really been in like a YA fantasy mood lately. And so I don't know when I will get to it, but I'm excited to have a finished copy that I get to read. This is the package from Macmillan. I'm just actually gonna be going through like all the ones that publishing houses have sent me. Uh, a lot of the times the publishing house ones are unsolicited to the extent like I tell them what kind of genres I'm into and then they kind of just send stuff. So, ah, yay! Oh my God, so excited. This is Legends and Lattes by Travis Bald Bald Baldry. I am so excited for this. It's actually so much shorter. This is like the perfect, now see, I was saying before, oh my God! Look how cute these stickers are. So this is a cozy fantasy. It's like Dungeons and Dragons based, I think. And everyone's been like raving around it. It is sapphic romance. And I'm so excited. This I really, really want to read this season. Another package from Macmillan. This one came in a special little blue envelope. What we got in here. Never Rescue a Rogue by Virginia Heath. This obviously is uh, Virginia Heath is a historical romance author. And this is like one of her bigger books. Or strangely enough, I actually have not been reading a lot of historical romances this year. I think I read like, I read so many historical romances last year and this year I've just not really picked many up, but I do love them and they are such huge comfort reads for me. This follows Diana and Giles. Apparently they tolerate each other and everyone thinks they're meant to be, but they always like are fighting and never getting along. Diana works at the newspaper and loves her freedom and Giles just likes his bachelor lifestyle, but the two of them actually both have secrets that they can't afford to get out. 
And so the two of them, I guess, both have to help each other, like find the truth and like avoid their secrets getting out and end up falling in love along the way. My dumbass is sitting here like, why do these people sound familiar? Um, this is the second book in the Marywell sisters. And the first one is Never Fall For Your Fiance. That is why this sounds so familiar. I was like, why do these characters sound so familiar? So I read the first book in this series. Oh my God. Okay, that makes sense. I will be honest, I didn't love the first book in this series, but Virginia Heat does have a very great writing style. And so maybe this one will be more up my alley. Okay, I lied earlier. Didn't I say earlier that I didn't buy any of these books myself? <laughs> Lies. Lies. I've got all my Waterstones book here. So Waterstones um, in the UK, I placed an order because I had to buy one specific thing. I don't know. I've got three packages here from Waterstones. So we're going to see Wait, what the f which is which. But, um... Yeah, <laughs> so excited for these. I have nowhere to put these on my shelf. Oh my God, I'm so pumped. Oh my God, they look so good. Wow. Okay, so here we have Gleam by Ray McKinney. These are the Waterstones editions that have gold sprayed, well, yellowy gold sprayed edges. These are nice gold. I'm glad they're not like highlighted yellow. They're actually really solid for this. <gasps> wow, look at that spine. That's so pretty. And this is also signed by Raven Kennedy. Um, this is like a special edition. So I'm so excited. So that is Gleam. Um, and then I, these are all coming to me like in really weird increments. I don't know why they're all shipping. <gasps> they're all shipping. <gasps> It's still safe. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. I don't know how Waterstones like ships out their stuff, but it does not make any sense to me. Oh, this is not. Okay, this is the other book I bought. Now, before anyone asks, Madison, why did you buy this book that I'm about to show you? Um, because I bought the first one as a special edition. And so I was like, well, if I bought the first one special edition, I should buy the second one together, even though I haven't read it yet. <sighs> and that is The Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake. Um, it's just the I have I have the first book in the oh wow that's pretty I have the first book in the special edition and so I was like I need to keep buying them in the special editions oh, I haven't read it all right one more from Waterstones which this should maybe be let's see if I've got Gleam I'm guessing this is Guild and Glint here is Guild oh that's really cool they're all signed and they even have like the date of the signing it says November 2022 that's really cool I really like that it has like the plated prisoner and then it says one here I kind of think it'd be cool if they had like it on the spine like which number it was um and then here is Glint as well oh, they're so pretty I'm so glad I got these additions look how they line up hang on on the side do you see that I don't know where these are gonna go on my shelf, but they'll go somewhere. But this box has been sitting here for ages and I keep forgetting to open it. And I'm so excited to get to this. So I bought this also for myself. Ooh. These are my Illuminate editions of Gideon the Ninth, Nona the Ninth, and um, Harrow the Ninth. Do I need two editions of this book series? No. No. Do I? Yes. Oh, they're so pretty. Are they signed? I don't remember if these are signed or not. Oh my God, they are, they are signed. <laughs> Sick. So here we have Gideon the Ninth and that's what the side sprayed edges look like. And then it's orange on the top. But what is really sick about these editions? Oh my God, it looks so, oh. <gasps> eh, I'm a slut for this. That looks really sick. So that's the Gideon cover. Ah, and this is what it looks like. Oh my God. This is so great. <laughs> it's got all these little like Easter eggs on it. If you realize there's just no Magnus on it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Here we have Power of the Knife and it is blue on the sides like that. Wow. Oh, look at my bitches. Oh, they look amazing. They look so good. <laughs> there we have Harrow and Ionth. Oh my God, look at her. Oh my God, this is so good. I love all these little Easter eggs. Oh my God, I want some on this one. <gasps> the cat, the soup, oh, the tea. This is so good. And that's um, Harrow's cover. And then here we have Nona and she is purple everywhere. So here we got Nona, Cam and Pira. Look at them. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh my god, got the cigarettes on the cover here. The fucking cows! <laughs> Hot sauce. Oh, this cover's the best. The Easter eggs on this one. Oh, I love it. I love this so much. Some of the best money. I've been very, um, 
I used to buy a lot of special editions for no reason, but nowadays I only buy special editions of series that like I actually do, like, you know, currently read and adore. So like it actually makes sense. Um, I'm definitely gonna, these look the exact same as the ones I currently have up. So I'm probably gonna turn these inside out so that they look different than my current ones because I mean, at the moment, otherwise people are just gonna be like, you literally owned the same book twice, which I mean, isn't unheard of for me, but oh, they look so good. Those are some sexy ass bitches. All right. Okay, and we have one more package here from, who's this from? Hachette. <gasps> Ooh! Oh my God, I'm so excited. This is, I wonder if the, this is actually in that box. So this here is The Other World's Books Depend on the Bean Counter. This is volume two. Before I get into this, let me open up another package I have from Hachette because I think it's gonna contain the rest of these and then I can actually explain to you what this is about. So, oh my God. I have this messy box here. And I think this is all my manga and uh, manhwas, so. Oh my God. Oh, they did not. Oh my God. Look, look. Look at this. I can't believe I have the solo leveling. Ah. Okay, so, oh, look at them. Solo Levelings Volumes 1 through, I didn't even get to the one I was going to tell you. <laughs> this is Solo Leveling. So this is a manhwa. This was a webcomic. Um, there's five volumes out now. The sixth one's coming out next year. If you don't know what that means, on the inside, they are fully color. And this actually will be coming out with an anime next year. It is absolutely amazing. The best way for me to explain this is that you're following this guy and he, it's set in a world where they're like hunters and you go into like portals to, you know, kill the monsters and that's how you can make money for your family. And like each hunter has like a special ranking depending on how powerful you are. And like, you're as powerful as you are. Like it's hard to actually level up. And so you find this guy and he's like known as like the weakest hunter of all time, except something ends up happening one day where he basically maybe dies and then ends up becoming alive again and he ends up being the most powerful hunter um and he like gets all these uh, it's just it's really cool it's really 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 sick if you like anything that is fantasy based like the first volume i will say like it takes a while to really start to get into it um but when i say like he starts out looking like this really sad scrawny little piece of nothingness and then the way that he progressively turns into this hang on let me show you right here this hot ass motherfucker man he becomes so hot. It's not even funny, like how, like, and this is some of the best, it's like art you will also see as well. Like, oh, look at this. Hang on, let me show you this. Look at how this man ends up looking. Look at this. Look at that, look at this art. It is the best. If you are at all interested in anything like this, please, please, please check it out. So those are those. Here we go. Here we have the bean counter book. <laughs> Sounds so strange. Here we have the bean counter books. So this is a BL, this is boys love, it is queer. So this is like an isekai where, you know, someone gets reincarnated or transported from like our regular world into like a fantasy world. And so this is about how there was long time ago, a fated maiden who would be transported to another world and like end up being their savior. And they're like, oh, that's great and all, typical story. Except this actually follows the guy who is her best friend who accidentally gets transported over with her. And he is an accountant and he ends up being an accountant in this new world and like helping them out. And it's him ending up uh, falling in love with the handsome knight captain who is also there. And it's just, I'm, I'm so sorry. This sounds so good. I'm so excited to get to this one. I'm so excited. This seems like it's gonna be hilarious. Oh, and it's so pretty too. I mean, it's not spicy, but there is an insinuation of sexual intercourse. Oh, they said all of the, <gasps> But we've got volumes one, two, and four of Fiance of the Wizard. Now this is one that I read, I read this years ago. And then this is like one of the very first ones that I was such in love with that actually got translated and licensed over. She ends up being reincarnated as the girl who is actually the fiance of the wizard. And the wizard is one of the chosen characters of this world. He is like one of the most powerful beings of all time. And like everyone's actually really afraid of him, but She's his fiance and it's her like falling in love with him. And it's actually really cute. I love this series so much. It's only, it's only full volume. So it's really short, it's easy to collect. Not a lot of people talk about this one surprisingly enough. 
I think it's absolutely gorgeous and wonderful. I'm like hugely in love with it. Oh my God, it's so intense. Hang on, let me try and show you something that's not spoilery for this. Just like, look how cute they are as a couple. And so it's kind of the idea of like, you know, her fiance who's the wizard is like gonna be one of the like, the group of like chosen people who go to save the world and she's not one of those people and it's her. It's kind of like looking at, okay, what happens to the people who are like, the fiancés and the girlfriends and the wives of these chosen characters and like what happens to them over the course and like how do they deal with everything and I really enjoyed it. I think it's a really cute and sweet one and it's also kind of cozy. I mean the last the last book is kind of like intense but I think it's kind of cozy. Then we have No Longer Heroine. This is one of my all-time favorite mangas of all time. So in this you're following this girl and she's like supposed to be the most popular girl in school and there's the most popular guy in school and she just thinks that because she is who she is she's like I am base. Like she thinks of herself as the main character. She's like living her life being like I'm the main bitch. I get what I like. I should be with this guy because he's really hot and I'm really hot. So she's in love with this guy and he's like this massive playboy and it's her like trying to get with him and it's like the funnest thing in the, I'm not explaining this well at all. And I think it's like so much fun. It is like one of the quintessential shoujo's that is out there. Like if you like shoujo's, this is like one that you absolutely need to read because it is quintessential. Like it is a classic. Okay, then we have, wow, this ended up so pretty. Here we, fuck, I love this one so much. So I literally binge read this the other day. This is Remarried Empress. It is so freaking good. So this follows a world where you had this woman and she has been training her entire life to be the empress and, you know, to be with the emperor. And then when this starts off, you end up finding out the emperor is actually bringing in a concubine. And this is extremely unheard of. It's like her entire, like everything's being shattered from that. And what ends up happening is this is all leading up to what the prologue is. And the prologue is her getting divorced from the emperor. But the second that they file for an annulment, she then files for a remarriage to this other guy. And it's like, what? It takes like a couple of volumes to get to like where the prologue starts off, but it is so good. And it is so, it is so pretty too. Like it is absolutely freaking gorgeous. Like this is one of my favorites. If you are at all a fan of like, uh, it does have slight fantasy vibes to it, but if you, I, I just feel like every, there's not a person who I can imagine reading this and doesn't love it. Like, there's no way that you read this and you don't enjoy it. Everyone loves it. Everyone does. Like I, like I said, I binged it. Like it was so addictive. Okay, and the last but not least, okay, you know how I said before that um, the guy from Solo Leveling was hot? This guy's hotter. So, oh fuck, I love him so much. This is Team Raider King, okay? Oh, this is so good. This isn't Iskai, but it's like he gets reincarnated as himself. Like he dies and then comes back to life at the very start of like basically what is the apocalypse. And now he has all this knowledge of everything that goes on during the apocalypse that he decides to actually get revenge on everyone. Like he actively like fucks all this shit up and it's great. Cause it gets to the point now where he's kind of like, he's actively trying to avoid some things but he can't avoid everything. And as he's changing things, it's making a lot of things more difficult for him. And he's not even going about it in like a nice way. Like he's actively like, I'm going to be the villain of this story now. And I have no shame in being the villain. And I love him. He is great. He's also just hilarious. Like this is some of the funniest shit too. Cause the way that he like starts taking over everything cause he becomes so OP so quickly is absolutely amazing. You know, it's funny. They're all like pretty weighty, but like solo leveling is like, I don't know why it's like 12 times heavier than all these other ones. God, this is going to be a long haul because I spent way too long talking about manga just then. Here we have a book from Isla Madden Mills. <gasps> Yay, it is. Okay. So this is um, The Princess and the Player by Isla Madden Mills. I'm really excited for this. I read the first one in this, which was Beauty and the Baller, and I really enjoyed it. So this fellow is Francesca and Tuck. Francesca is a jilted bride and Tuck is an NFL star. And they are both at a masquerade ball and they have a one night stand. And then later on, Francesca ends up realizing that the guy that she had the one night stand with is actually the wealthy NFL player who lives in the penthouse of her apartment building. And I don't know, I'm very excited. <gasps> oh, it's accidental pregnancy too. Oh, see, actually, I don't mind accidental pregnancies if I go into it knowing. Mmm, <gasps> very fun. Oh, I can't wait. So that's what this one is. Then we have this package here, which I'm so excited to get to. You guys have no clue. I know what this is. This is from Tessa Bailey. <gasps> Look at it. Okay, so here we have a pen from Tessa. And wow, it's so much bigger than I expected. And here is Happenstance. I just read this and I had so much fun. And on the inside, she has a little drawing of the tram fam. Then we have this box, which is specially addressed to me. This, I think is, I think this is the one that I'm expecting from a debut romance author. Bum, ba, da. 
Oh my, oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh my God, this is the cutest box ever. Oh my God, it's so nice. Look, look at that, look at my name. Oh my God, this is such a sweet message. Oh my God, she, she likes all my comments about spicy mangas. I know a lot of people talk about spicy manga and it is hard because spicy mangas can be very hit or miss and like the spice level in mangas also does vary. Um, oh my God, what is this? Okay, wow, we got this really gorgeous bookmark which has got petals in it. I love this kind of shit. I love epoxy flower stuff. Um, oh my God, there's so much in here. Hang on. Oh my God, so first, oh actually I really, yeah, I know, this is not what I thought it was. So this is like that thing that you use while you're reading and then you can like hold the pages open with it. I, however, would keep this on myself to stab a bitch, um, she says lovingly. But this is one of those things that you use to keep it open. We also have this little black cat keychain, which is adorable. I love keychains. Um, we have, and these are, are these, are these, trans these are transparent sticky notes, so you can use them when you're reading a book and like write notes while you're reading it, but not have it like actually written in the book. And then we have a bunch of stickers. So this one says, sorry, I was reading. Oh, this is, I like shiny things, but I'd marry you for paper rings. This is a football. Oh my God, this says moonlight. This says, I need space. We have another black cat. Oh, and this one says off topic, but you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love these like, little like quote ones. I like ones that look like text messages. I think those are really cute. And then we also got this pack of stickers of like tabs which I've been wanting to try this brand out for ages now everyone I see uses these and I have not tried these yet and so I'm very excited to use these um oh my god there's so much stuff in this PR box here we have the midliners I actually don't have these colors yet so this is really fun and these midliner colors go exactly with what this is which is really cool I haven't got these ones I love this sage green color that's here. Oh my God, there's even more. Oh my stars. Okay, first off, let me show you what the book is. So this is Midnight Kisses by Janine Benedict. And she reached out to me and she was like, would you be interested in reading my book? And I was like, what's your book about? And I was like, oh my God, this sounds so cute. So this is a romance between the football coach's daughter and the Heisman winning quarterback with a bad knee and a penchant for falling in love. He's a little full of himself and craves attention. Ah! Okay, so he's like a college recruit as well. <gasps> oh, I'm so excited for this. This is gonna be so good. I was so excited when she mentioned this to me. I was like, 100%, I would love for it. It's chunky, look how big this is. Um, but I'm so fun. Oh my, it's such a gorgeous color. I cannot wait. But we also got gel pens. I haven't had gel pens in years, which is utterly adorable. And then last but not least, what is this? Oh my God, it's a really pretty tote bag. This is such a nice tote bag. I use tote bags all the time because I do go, I mean, I live in New York, I go physically grocery shopping. This is so nice. It's like a corduroy kind of a vibe. Oh my, this is so aesthetic. I'm dead. So that is everything that was in this little PR box. We've got two more packages. This has been going on for way too long. This is gonna be a long ass final. You know what? This will be my final book haul of the year because this has been going on for like 20 fucking hours at this point. Like seriously, I hope you guys are watching this video while doing something else because <laughs> I don't even know at this point. So this is a package from Laurel and Paige. <laughs> All right, so I don't know what this is. It looks like a soap of some kind. It says Donovan and Sabrina. It's like all roses and it smells really nice. I'll have to like take it out to exactly figure out what this is. And then we have bubble gum. This is the strangest looking bubble gum I have seen in my entire life. And then we have this which says property of Donovan Kincaid. Reach Inc. property of Donovan Kincaid. This is his pen. Oh, so what is this series? So, oh lol, it literally says Kincaid on it. Dirty, filthy, rich men. Then we have dirty, filthy, rich love. And then this just says Kincaid um, and that's the order this is three two and one in this series and this says when I met Donovan Kincaid I knew he was rich I didn't know he was filthy Ooh, this seems messy I'm so intrigued so it's about a girl she's trying to get with Donovan's best friend and then I guess something happened and her and Donovan ended up together and then that guy ended up taking attention of her and then it takes place 10 years later I have no idea really what this is about, but it seems really fun and very high class and like sexy like that. So I'm intrigued, so I'm very excited. Okay, my final package. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. This is Haunted Roads by India R. Adams. Are you one of the strong? Oh, this looks so cool. It's to say the best for last, let's see. <gasps> oh my God. Damaged souls are worth, ooh. 
Saving. Oh, another tote bag. I love tote bags. It's one of my favorite things. I feel like you can never have too you can have too many tote bags, but you really can't. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. Here we have a keychain with like a bunch of like little like things on it. So there's a motorbike, a horse, and a punching glove. Then we have a bunch of stuff here. So this says I love you like the moon loves the night. This is the Steel Stallions MC. That's pretty cool. And then that's like her little logo. And then this says, what's your poison? And it actually looks like this is like a, like a, oh fuck. You know, what the, you know what I'm thinking of. It's something that you put your mugs on, okay? And that's cool. Oh my God. Okay, so this is so exciting. So this is a butterfly necklace. I'm guessing these are all of her books. And then here is a note to me. I, Madison, I took this picture of the tree that inspired a special kiss between Maverick and Delilah. That's actually so cute. What? I'm so in love. These are so pretty. Okay, so here we have Steal Me. Look at this cover. Steal Me, Scar Me, and Bleed Me. Oh my God, am I the? Am I one of the strong? I hope so. A drunk driver killed my dad. My mom is sinking into depression and I'm left to care for my little sister. I may have made a huge mistake moving us to another town, hoping to escape the pain of the loss, but my biggest mistake of all may be falling for a girl who clearly hates my guts. And it says, to Madison, thank you so much for wanting to read these babies. Oh, I'm so excited for these, they're so pretty. Again, thank you so much to everyone who did send me stuff. Thank you also to myself for spending money on things that I, you know, need to not probably spend money on. <laughs> and yeah, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this final book haul of 2022. If you did, please like button down below. If you wanna see more of me, please go to my channel and check me out over on Instagram and TikTok. And until next time, thanks so much everyone. Bye-bye.